Harris is live on the scene with the latest on the investigation. Aaron. Good morning to you both. The CHP has confirmed this was an off-duty LAPD officer involved in this crash. The coroner's van left a short time ago, followed by a procession. And you can see part of the 210 is still closed off here right now, but they are working on clearing it. And we do believe the roadway will open shortly. Now, video shows a badly damaged car, which rear-ended a semi-truck. The CHP says they got a call for this crash just after 2.30 this morning. The crash happened here on the eastbound 210 west of Grand Avenue. Investigators say the semi-truck had apparently stalled and was stopped in the number three lane when the crash happened. The CHP and Los Angeles County Fire responded to the scene, and one person in that car... He has confirmed this off-duty officer was killed. The LAPD has not identified the officer yet or said what division they worked at. The CHP is handling the investigation, but there were LAPD officers out here at the crash scene a short time ago. A SIG alert was issued just before 3 this morning and is still in effect. Currently, two lanes are open, but we do believe that will change shortly. The CHP had this to say about the crash. Uh, upon arriving on scene, CHP personnel determined that uh, it was a major injury collision. Uh, at that time, fire, the fire department was rolled um, to assist, and upon their arrival, they determined one of the parties sustained fatal injuries. At this point, the initial uh, cause for the collision is still under investigation. However, it appears a, a rear end was uh, involved. We are working on getting more information about that LAPD officer. As for the semi-truck driver, we're told that they were not hurt in this crash. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Reporting live here in Glendora, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you both in the studio. Erin, thank you. Developing this morning, drivers in South Florida navigating through flooded freeways and swamp side streets. Look at this video. This is Fort wow. Lauderdale. Wow. The National Weather Service says more than 25 inches of rain fell over just 24 hours in some areas on Thursday. The flooding prompted Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport to ground flights and close road traffic. Drivers are advised to avoid roads that still have standing water. You heard the saying before, turn around, don't drown mm -hmm. for that reason. Yep. Mm. Important advice. Spring has sprung, have you noticed? After such a wet winter in SoCal, our flowering fields have returned. The super bloom I'm talking about, of course, it's underway in California. Look at these images. Well, the crowds are expected to be flocking to the best hot spots across the state. Lake Elsinore might be closed this season, but Diamond Valley Lake is open and blooming. The Antelope Valley has poppies that are thriving through May, according to those who, who know. Officials reminding visitors, though, to stay on the assigned paths and check the area's rules before bringing your dog. Looks like all the photos we showed were mainly people not on the path. Yeah. Oh, well, here's <laughs> what not to do. Exactly like that. Like that right there. Because you're, you're smushing the flower. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. He is a Hollywood heartthrob known for his healthy living. Now in an interview with Harper's Bazaar, actor Rob Lowe is breaking down his daily eating habits and his favorite L.A. restaurants. The 59-year-old says he gets as much espresso in his body as possible, Whoa. usually from Starbucks after waking up. Lowe has been holding down a low-carb, high-protein diet and cutting out most sugar for over 30 years. He also gave a shout-out to what he thinks is the best restaurant and salad in Los Angeles. I like La Scala in Beverly Hills. Their chopped salad is amazing. I like the ivy. Their uh, lime chicken is great. The palm. I love a New York steak. Char crispy Pittsburgh on the outside. Medium rare plus on the inside. No crazy sauces. And the GG salad is the best salad in Los Angeles. And it's only $50. <laughs> <laughs> So this clip is going viral on TikTok because not everyone agrees with his picks. What do we think? I will say that the La Scala, La Scala mm -hmm. chopped salad, it is pricey, Casey. You're not wrong. Yeah. But it is really good. And, it's and the well Ivy, known. too, has a fantastic salad there. But it's, again. I've never eaten at yeah. the Ivy. You I'm not Ivy, fancy enough. It's good. Ivy has a minimum per person, like, order. You have to, like, really? spend $25 per person to really? eat Ivy. Yeah. I don't know if they do. Do they? I, th I think so. But I know it's but fantastic. It's easy to Great make food, it. but yeah. it's really expensive. I was going to say my favorite place is quick shout out mm. egg tuck i love going to cool. it's, it's breakfast burritos fantastic i go there for lunch because they close it oh, they got them all around la those are my two like 
spots. New Yorker really getting.